Terrence, what's your outcome with this information? So in an ideal situation for you, what would you like to see happen? Well, I wanted to see the world change. I wanted to see um, us get off of fossil fuels. I wanted to see us get off the planet using resonance and no longer um, burning chemicals. I want to see us using resonance to heal our bodies and no longer using chemicals or oil-based chemicals. What I want to see is the planet change. That was what I wanted to do. I'm not sure that's going to happen. I feel like now what we have to do is start our own breakaway society and use these technologies that they're refusing to use and just build a whole separate world because they're not going to come along because they are attached to this dollar. So the, the idea of you wanting peer review and others to review it, it's, it's for what? That, that prompt That what? was happening before because it would open the door for them now to accept it and to start using it. But in view of the fact that more than likely they're not going to review it, more than likely, and, and Eric Weinstein was right, we are not peers. I don't have the degrees he has, and guess what he doesn't have? He doesn't have an understanding of how the universe works. You don't think Eric oh, Weinstein has He has, has an no under understanding of how the universe works because he has rejected the geometry that, that supports how the universe behaves. He didn't even evaluate the geometry. He did not, and then when I asked him about, does an action times an action have a reaction concerning the one times one, he obfuscated, I hate that word, he <laughs> ran away from it. He kept diverting. And guess what? We are not peers because he doesn't have it. He hasn't invented a new form of flight. He hasn't discovered um, unlimited midair bonding. He hasn't done any of the things that I've done. He doesn't have any of the patents that I have. Now, whether they want to um, monetize them or not doesn't change the fact that these things are real. And like I said, if I have to go to China and allow China to now build the, if I go to, to, um, to DJI, I bet you they won't, they won't hesitate a moment to use linchpin. And then the U.S. is unable to use them. And then what happens to it? If I give my energy system to another country, what happens to it? The same energy system that they're trying to squash here, what happens to this place if I do that? which they're forcing me to do. Do you know that they took away my passport out of the blue? Just took away my passport. First they said my passport, um, um, that I had some child support things, and I was like, that's some BS. Took four months to argue that I had no passport issues with, with child support. Then it's like, oh, it's your taxes. It's you, you owe taxes, so we're going to take away your passport. Why? So I couldn't go to Dubai. Why? So I couldn't go and get this stuff financed. It's all the suppression, and I'm like, okay. So after I'm done here today, I'm going, when I get home, I'm going to put online the equations necessary to have a thing called unlimited energy to be able to pull energy directly from the flux, just to say fuck you to the world. I'm going to show them how to pull energy directly from the flux. Your thoughts when you're listening to them. Yes, you know, I have to be careful. I was Weinstein. I can such as my peers, right? I respect his intelligence, uh, but I do believe his geometric unity theory is highly wrong uh, direction. It's wrong because it should have been finite. He needs a finite space in order for it to work. His fiber bundles don't work. His entire hop vibration disappears because gauge theory becomes redundant once you introduce Lichman geometry into it. That was one of the things I tried to share with him that he refused to look at. First, I sent him a paper on how the linchpin helped with the hop vibration and how the linchpin could help engage theory. And then I had to rewrite the paper and show him how the linchpin makes all of that redundant. He didn't respond. It's sitting there in this thing. He hasn't responded. That's the thing I told you to send over to Brian because I'm like, let's go to war. Since you're going to call me an idiot, let's go to war. And I want all the papers. Now I want the war to take place through written white papers. So you're not just sitting there talking garbage anymore. Now you have to validate what you're saying because the papers are here. And if you say the wrong thing, I will sue you now. That's the reality of it. 
One of the scientists said it was quite jumbled, hard to follow, and quite frankly, grandeur, grandeur at first glance, a true revolution, whether within string theory or supplanting string theory or replacing string theory, requires extremely uh, abstruse mathematics well beyond the postgraduate level. Well, tell them to evaluate it now. If they're just going to look at it, now evaluate. Put the math, put the equations in. You could say it's grandiose, but look at the equations and, and, and evaluate is the equations, does, does it actually solve the problem? And if it solves the problem, and that was the whole point of doing the AI. Does it solve the problem? Is there a problem mathematically or with the formulas? No. You're, you're here. What suggestion would you give him? You, you have enough, like if he really wanted, if you, if, let's just say he, his claims are real, okay? How, how should he go about getting this information out? Um, so he has to be a buy-in from the public, from the physics in the community, through get basic principle. Got to be shepherded in. Correct. And then... What does that mean? Come this way, and we'll <laughs> let you in. But you're going to have to let go of other principles that why, you're talking why, about. Why is it like that? So, so it's another... Is, is, it, is your world you're in, uh, is there also an establishment and an anti-establishment in your world? Oh, I believe this happened to many dis different disciplines too. Uh, but I, for me, uh, buy-in by general public or by the phys physicists, the celebrities, or the board members control the the part. I don't believe that's most more important than tell the truth and discover the fundamental law of nature uh, that's true to yourself and the true to God. Yeah. I believe that's the most important. For me, I believe I do discover the fundamental truths. Uh, and so we, we just shared electron. That's the root cause of all physics, classical and modern physics. Yeah. If an electron is not a negative charged particle, we cannot have an atomic model with empty space and with nearly speed of light uh, orbiting There's no such electrons. thing as empty space. Everything is filled. Yeah. Everything is filled. And that's why what I brought with my model, just so that we wouldn't have any confusion, because they can try and confuse the one times one, e even though the calculator will show one thing in, in comparison. That's why I solved the three-body problem and put that out there. And I'm asking, and the thing with with Saturn, and I'm asking everyone out there, since I'm not given the opportunity to have a true peer review by um, universities, all you have to do for the rebuilding of the planet Saturn to prove whether gravity is, is, is an effect of electricity and whether dark matter and dark energy is, is real things or not, all you have to do is, is put in the, into Blender the same thing for rebuilding the planet Saturn. If we're able to rebuild the planet Saturn without gravity, without, without animation, without dark matter and dark energy, then we've proven that gravity is nothing but an effect of electricity. And I'm asking everyone out there with a blender to do that and post what you put up to show whether or not I've proved that gravity is nothing but an effect. But the second thing I want everyone at home to do is please take the three-body problem that I've put out there and run that through your AI and see if there's a problem. And for the scientists, please compare it. Have the conversations. Please tell me whether this is true or false. If it's wrong, you'll never hear from me again. I'll walk away. But if I'm right, that means that we have a bigger conversation to have. And I put it to the three-body problem. I stand behind everything we did in the three-body problem. Examine that and tell me if it's false. I walk away for good. Um. He mentioned about uh, he uh, rebuilded the universe without uh, dark matter, without dark energy, uh, dark matter, dark energy, and dark gra uh, without gravity, uh, and uh, without gravity. And this is a very important. I, I wanted to uh, before the ending. I wanted to make sure audience understand what that means. And also, I want to add another thing before we end this one is uh, without the quantum mechanical model. The fundamental force, only one fundamental force, and I will try to explain why we do not need strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, and the gravity. Please. Okay. So 
remember, I said that there is no mm. called a solar, solar uh, called a planetary model. So there is no orbiting electron. So all electron and the neutron and the proton, they're all made by magnetic particles. So they all have a charge. Of course, a neutron would say, hey, cancellation, a positive and negative cancellation become a, a neutron. But that's, that's not important. The most important thing is since every particles are magnetic particles, so they are not, they are not going to happen. When magnets contact, you have a, called a like charge repel because magnetic, uh, m magnetic force is coupled to north, uh, 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 north and south. Mm -hmm. It's a couple. Whenever you two magnets in contact, what happens? If you see now we have a, a like charge repel, it rotates. Eventually, always in contact. That's the most stable structure. That's why we see all matters, all atoms are in the one piece. They are not, not separate. Yeah. So what that means, we do not need a strong force. The strong force is, is, is mentioned based on single charge particle, uh, single charge, uh, see, uh, uh, nucleus made by protons and the neutrons. They all like charged particles or you know, even no charge, but how can they, how they overcome uh, magnetic, called uh, electrical repulsion? So that's why they create artificial force. So called this dark is- Dark matter and dark energy. So, so everything naturally in contact. So then we do not need a strong force. And we also do not need a weak neuron. Weak force explain the radioactivity. So, so, so alpha, uh, you know, a decay. Mm -hmm. So particle, basically, so particle fly out from the nucleus. You know, in quantum, in current theory, nucleus does not have an electron, right? But in radiation, we can use the radiation, we have an electron <laughs> ejected from a nucleus. Does that sound like it? Does sounds, sounds like it does not happen. So, so basically, the nucleus, the, the so-called ejection of particles from nucleus, the nucleus itself is a magnet particles, and under external uh, external interaction, somehow suddenly turn the particle become originally become the uh, opposite pole attract, suddenly become a like pole repulsion. Under certain kind, of course, it is eject. So weak nuclear force explain uh, this radiation can be easily interpreted by magnetic repulsion. And radiation is, is more easily explained as being um, discharged electrical potential or devitalized electrical potential. The radiation on a football field is the players that just finish their turn and go and sit down on the bench and try and recharge. That's the radiation. When they're putting all that energy out and they go and sit down and now you have the positive charge of people coming back in there that's been rested up and able to do it again and then they go back into a radiative or magnetically discharging state. The energy breathes in, you breathe it back out. It's that simple. It always is breathing. Everything is breathing. Hi, everyone. My name is Terrence Howard. I'm an actor, um, but in the field of science also. So if you would like to connect with me, you can connect with me on Minect. Um, the QR code is down below, and let's have a great conversation. If you enjoy this video, you want to watch more videos like this, click here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click here.